What's going on smart people? I thought for today's video it would just be a nice simple little update video on how the internship is going. As I've said before, a big part of my internship is just taking a Mathematica notebook and translating it into Python. What is the code doing? Well, it's concerned with semi-inclusive deep and elastic scattering, which essentially has to do with particles coming in, shattering a particle, hence deep and elastic, and then some of, some of the energy in the outgoing particles is used to create things like pions and stuff like that. And you have a bunch of different regions that you map out kinematically where this collision is taking place. And what this code is doing, I'm pointing as if you can see my computer in the background, what this code is doing is it's, uh, is it's calculating momentum fractions for the particles that are coming in and going out within those different regions. That way we could better understand you know, quark structure, or rather nucleon structure. In other words, throughout these collisions, there's a bunch of different sub-processes, and in those processes, what are the important moving parts? Overall, the math actually hasn't been too bad as far as this code goes. It's just it's like four vector dot products. A lot of algebra, the, the only thing is that these equations that I'm working with have just so many parameters, so many variables that, that it depends on. And that's just a lot of bookkeeping when you have like a code, which is why I'm glad I started using SymPy so that I can output things to, uh, to the screen in variable form. So I can be like, yeah, I wrote that down correct. Uh, if you don't know what SymPy is, it's just a library that you can get in Python and it just makes things very, very pretty. I say that it depends on a whole bunch of different parameters because really a lot of them are the same parameters but just expressed differently because we're working in multiple different reference frames. So there's things like the bright frame and the hadron frame and the photon frame which is basically the bright frame is a special case of the photon frame but it's, it's just a whole bunch of relativistic calculations. And as it turns out, relativity is actually French for hella square roots everywhere. The thing that's kind of intimidating about this code though that I'm translating is that there's like one output at the very end of the code. So it's been kind of a struggle to verify that each chunk that I'm writing is doing what it's supposed to do with confidence. And what, what you, really what you have to do is you just have to come up with a case if you're doing something new in coding and you're not sure if you're giving yourself the right answer, if it hasn't been solved yet or something like that, you come up with a case that you know what the answer is and show that you can get that answer and then move on. You know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you pick a case that, you know, you can agree that if you can get that, that's good enough. That's good enough to show that you know what you're doing and then move on. But I wasted so much time of my last internship second guessing myself when I was right that, you know, at some point you've gotta, you gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta look at yourself in the mirror and be like, that looks like a guy or girl who knows how to verify that their code works by testing special cases. But so far, I've managed to verify pretty much every step of my code to a good deal of confidence. And the last part that I need to do is start plotting out really histograms of these momentum fractions that are being carried away by certain quarks or whatever. That's not as important. But uh, that's the last step that I need to do. And I think everything else has been right so far. So this should not be too difficult. But then again, this should be the easy part is always the famous last word. So we'll see how that goes. But that's going to do it for this little update video. Let me know how your guys' summer is going. It is officially almost June now, so I'm assuming everyone's done with finals. Let me know if you have any cool plans for the summer. I'll see you guys there. I'm saying that because I actually did try to run it already, and I think I, I have some kind of infinite loop going. Hey!